Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments Podcast, Healing While I Heal, where I give you my real life stories and their healing translations. So let's just get straight into it. So Spirit brought back into my awareness um, the fact that I used to cover up for somebody's lies. I mean, and boy, oh boy, did they lie. They lied a lot. Now, of course, I, I get it, right? People usually lie because I've, I've mentioned before and I'll mention time and time again, I always own my own ish, right? And I used to be a compulsive liar too, right? I would lie about anything and everything just because I thought that that was a part of the script. I didn't want to be abandoned. I was being, I was operating through fear of punishment, all of these different types of things. There were so many different motives behind my lies, but it didn't negate the fact that I lied, right? But we're not necessarily talking about me right now, but I do have to own that part before I just kind of like drag this <laughs> other situation and circumstance out, right? But um, so I used to always cover for this person every single time. And um, it left me feeling like some type of way, you know, I, I would try my best not to insert a lie in order to cover another lie, right? I would just kind of placate the situation and circumstance like, yeah, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you need to talk to them. You know, one of those situations because I felt uncomfortable, but at the same time, I didn't want to just call them out completely and, and just blatantly, even though I knew the uh, whatever the, the storyline was, was based off of fiction, right? But anyway, let's get to some sort of translation, right? Because it's easy to just kind of go off on a tangent and be like, they lied and they lied and they lie, 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 right? It's easy. that, And it's, sometimes it feels good. Let's just be honest with ourselves because it's like, Whew, you've been carrying that weight for a while. Now it feels good to time, finally set it down. So that's why sometimes we go into the spiral of, yeah, F them. Because we've been carrying it for so long, we just need to put it down. And we're just like, <laughs> let's see what else we can do. Let's see what else we can un un unburden ourselves with, right? But anyway, that's not the <laughs> translation. That's just a little added bonus for you. The uh, thing that I received from that is, well... The truth is, I actually just ended up having to step completely away, right? And not that it was, I, I, I can't even say that it was on pur purpose. It was more so of a uh, divine intervention where the person, and I'll never reveal anyone's identity because regardless of how we met, departed, how the interactions were, I respect people and I understand that everybody is operating through their wounds. So I don't want to throw anybody on the under the bus because everyone has the capacity to change. And I don't want them or anyone to be judged based off of their yesterdays in, into their continued tomorrows, right? Especially if they have changed. But anyway, now that I have all those disclaimers out the way, <laughs> um, yeah, so Spirit basically threw a whole... I don't know, wrench in the, the machine. Everything was not working efficiently, obviously, because if I had to continuously cover for lies, but spirit found a way to divide. I won't say and conquer, but definitely divide. And sometimes that's what it takes, right? Because I was with me covering for that other person, I was consistently removing their own karma. I was preventing them from actually getting their, their God smacks and their, their lessons, right? So it becomes easy to con uh, you know, continue to tell these lies or to continue to live in such a way and create your own false narratives and existence because you know that you're going to be supported. Um, what is that? Oh, codependency, I guess is what it's referred to as, right? I created a almost like a codependent situation and circumstance where I was putting myself in some sort of victim seat by saying, oh, I always got to support their lies. I always have to. I always have to do this, that, and the other. When the truth is, clearly spirit showed me that that's not even the truth. What was preventing me from saying, um, you know what, that's, that's not the truth that I know. So maybe you need to go have a conversation. Or not even saying that, but not having to add to the situation and circumstance. The bottom line to this bottom line is one, we create our own reality. If we choose to be in the victim seat, if we choose to take on someone else's karma, then we can't place that, that blame and shame on the person who 
we're defending, right? Because we made that choice consciously. And sometimes it's going to take spirit coming in, the universe, God, Gaia, ancestors, angels, and saints, whoever you choose to refer to, to do a divine intervention, to say, you know what? I see that you're not going to put down this, uh, your, your cape and sword and your shield on behalf of this other person that is long overdue for their karma. So what we're going to do is we're just going to split it up. And so again, bottom line to this bottom line, if you find yourself in a similar situation or circumstance, then no trust and believe that even though you try to foster the relationship and you swear you're being that it person by covering up somebody else's false reality, um, I hate to break it to you, but spirit is always going to have the last word. And if you're not supposed to be around that person, and if you're not supposed to be carrying on their karma for them, then they're going to find a way. I mean, hook, line, and sinker, but I guess that wasn't the <laughs> right phrase to use there. Anywho, so that's it. So if this message resonates, then that means it's for you. And if not, that's cool too. Just keep it pushing. Either way, I thank you for listening and I wish you the very, very best day ever. Until next time, you know the vibes. Peace. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to check me out on all of social media. I'm basically everywhere. You probably should not be. But when you look me up, be sure to remember that it is Marissa Moments. And that is Marissa with one S because there is only one me. So until next time, happy healing.